Hoping to catch a shooter in Cullen County, police are increasing patrols. They say the suspect is targeting drivers on Highway 5, and he's doing it with a high-powered rifle. Our Gabriel Rojas is live in Anna, where investigators believe they've identified the area where the shooter was hiding. Gabriel. Well, this spot along Highway 5, just north, or excuse me, just south of County Road 423, represents the northern border of that area where police believe the suspect hid along this tree line, firing at drivers as they headed toward Melissa. It wasn't until he came back from lunch at a restaurant in Melissa that Doug Page noticed the pockmark on his driver's side door. That's when he realized what he had heard earlier on the drive from Anna. Just a loud crack that happened on the door is much louder than anything I would heard ever hit my car before. He soon learned from investigators he was not alone. Anna police are looking into as many as four reports over the last few days. So far, they believe all of the shootings happened Monday, but as more people discover damage, they are increasing patrols along Highway 5 in case the shooter isn't finished. Until they either find out what's going on or these incidents stops, I'm probably going to avoid it. And a police lieutenant, Jeff Caponera, says because none of the rounds have penetrated the metal doors, he believes the shooter is likely using a high-powered pellet gun, not a firearm, but it's a weapon that can still do considerable damage. I've seen these pellet guns kill people, uh, and this certainly could have been a tragedy had one of these drivers wrecked or it actually hit one of the drivers. When one woman driving southbound on Highway 5 heard the shot, she pulled over to find a dent above her door handle where the round hit. When she turned back north to report the shooting to police, a second shot shattered her back window. Some of the victims believe the suspect may simply be a reckless kid, but investigators say they can't be certain who might be pulling the trigger. You know, if there's an adult out there that's actually doing this, uh, trying to cause damage and, and intentionally doing this, then that's something that everybody should be concerned about. Now, investigators still don't have a motive in these cases, but when I asked if this could have been someone shooting wildly who accidentally hit the vehicles, police said the shooter was clearly targeting them as they drove. We're live in Anna, Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News.